Hello YouTube, it's Shaz here, and uh, I just want to start out and say uh, I'm sorry, I'm probably looking like an unboxing channel at this point, but uh, there's, uh, I guess we could call this part two of this segment of unboxing the greatest nerf packages of all time. So this one, I want to just give a huge thank you and shout out to my buddy Horace Rogue and uh, Mig, who's the uh, the seller of a lot of these items in here. Um, so this is probably going to be the last unboxing video I want to say on my channel. No promises. If you want more, I guess I can make more. But uh, yeah, without uh, further ado, let's just get into it. I got my super aggressive weird looking knife. I would normally have my super overkill uh, chromium knife, uh, CSGO chromium knife, but I don't know where it is right now. So this will have to do. This thing's also pretty large. So I've already broken the seals on both sides. All we need to do is just cut the main tape along the top and uh, yeah, see what's in here. So without further ado. Oh, I forgot Horace was even sending me those. Thanks, dude. So, you can probably already tell what's on the top. We got ourselves two Air Max 6s. That's cool. So, nice. Uh, I want these for a project. I plan to, uh, either one of these or one of the Air Max 10s. I plan on uh, doing an expanded tank mod in it. So, yeah, that's super legit to have. Thank you, Horace. He sent me two of these. So, yep. Open door. Excellent. And yeah, I totally forgot he was throwing these in. He's just got a whole bunch of turrets here, a bunch of Tech 6 turrets, and uh, I don't know what these are from. Tech 10s, probably, yeah, Tech 10 turrets. Ooh, and some springs, some LA Express. I want to say those are 9 kilos, either 7 or 9 kilogram retaliator springs. Thank you so, so much for those. That's legit. Up next, we got ourselves... Oh, I love how it's in terrible condition. That is perfect. So I can modify this one. Excellent. So yeah, we got ourselves a classic Supermax 5000. So this one's broken up here and missing part of the cap here. Obviously no arrow holders, no attachments, no ammo, no nothing. And that's kind of how I want it because I've always wanted to modify one of these. There's the OPRV. And yeah, I love the... Uh, these things have such a satisfying snap to the trigger because it's kind of like a hammer action trigger it kind of goes to a point and then it releases and pulls back the tank really really quick so it gives you a nice pop when it releases and just otherwise i know horace would love to keep one of these one day buddy i'm gonna get you one for sure uh, a little bit nicer than this one thank you benjamin s for this beautiful uh it's not really beautiful it's pretty beat up it will be beautiful i'll clean it up with some alcohol and stuff and we'll make it look a lot nicer but yeah this will probably like i said we got modified into something special so amazing amazing front pump here Amazing, amazing grip, trigger, everything else. It's just, yeah, such a beautiful blaster. So it was a uh, baguette blast. Nice French Lego big blast. Again, I only found out about these like a year ago or so. So really, really neat to uh, have a green one. I have the blue one that's modified, so it's actually nice to have one that's in stock condition and not uh, somewhat destroyed. I don't want to say destroyed. It's pretty nice, but I feel there's literally no pressure on the pump handle. Oh yeah, it's literally dead completely. Hey, it builds up pressure a little bit. I didn't even know it came with a... Uh, I think this is an original rocket. Original Busby rocket. That's legit. So... But yeah, that O-ring on here is going to need to be replaced. Because this thing is barely building up pressure. But it still will shoot if you really give it enough. So... Amazing. This, uh, I want to thank Horus for going out and picking this up. I found it on Facebook Marketplace in his area. Or no, he found it himself, actually, in his area. And posted it in the Discord, and I was like, I really want that French logo Big Blast. This was before I got the other one, because I was like, I didn't even know it was a thing. And he went out of his way to pick it up, probably half an hour across town to pick it up for me. So, But there's some really, really special stuff underneath it here, if I am to be... So... <laughs> Here's the first one. So, oh nice. There's a little orange cap in here. But yeah, here it is. It's a uh, new in box Creamsicle Big Blast. So if Creamsicle Big Blast weren't already hard enough to find, to find one in the box like this is something even more special. And again, it's uh, a Canadian model. You can tell by the, uh, the French here. It's got a little tear there. It's unfortunate, but not the biggest deal, so. I'll just give you a quick uh, showcase of what the box looks like. There's a blaster. There's a number on the pump. It's the top of the box. It's the side. 
is the back. <laughs> the cannon. Look at that kid. He's having so much fun. He's got a rough stuff one, too. It's not even a creamsicle that he's shooting there. And there's all your excellent options. Mega Missile is awesome. Same with the Thunderbolt. Both really, really cool offerings from Busby. Yeah. And then... That's the info. 2008 Busby. Yeah. Very, very cool. This is going to be a highlight of the collection. So... I've been waiting a while to add a, any variety of a new inbox Blig Blast. So to have a creamsicle one, which is in definitely my favorite colors, is extra, extra cool to have. So thank you so, so much for this, Mega. All right. Now, I think this is the last thing in here. And I know someone that's going to really want this, um, even though they already have one. So Got yourselves... Uh, Air Zone Triple Shot new in box. So, very, very cool. I just realized, I thought these were real darts in here the whole time. These are fake. That's that's hilarious. But I guess the other darts were down here, so I should have assumed that. So, yeah, really, really cool. So, you know, you'd see these sometimes, but not super, super often. You probably don't see the Canadian ones, like, really ever. There's some French on there. Some French on there on your Triple Shot. And, yeah, there's all your... Stock darts. Side. Let's show the top. That side. There's the back. Toys R Us. Nice. Toys R Us still actually exists here in Canada, which is really, really neat. So. 2010. Yeah, interesting. There's one Mark Busby toys. Yeah, that's really, really cool. Kind of forgot that. Yeah. So, that's that. Just want to say thanks again to Mig and Horace and everyone else in the Discord. Basically, thank you to everyone for just supporting me, allowing me to find these things. Thank you again. Um, until next time, uh, hopefully the next video is coming soon. Hopefully it won't be a uh, unboxing video, but uh, yeah, until next time, thanks again.